In this uh, little demonstration, I want to show you how you can get crisper PNGs um, that you insert into your pages in Squarespace. Um, I This is the website I'm currently working on, so it's um, I'm still playing around with that, not very finished yet. And I just added, you know, a random PNG in here for demonstration purposes. So, you know, this is um, a little icon and I sized it to 100 pixels because I want it to be small. Now, one thing you can do is you can, you know, insert these icons at a larger size, you know, 1500 pixels would be great. And then just use spacers, you know, so let's just do that for a moment for demonstration purposes and um, oh, Squarespace, you know, sometimes Squarespace is a little flaky or a little slow. So if I add my, you know, 1500 um, image here and and then I just use spacers. on either side of the image and you know that is certainly a way that you can get it you know to go smaller as well although I couldn't even get it to the same size let's say I want this size here you know this is it you know I can go like here but you know you can't really move the spacers in a way that it's still centered nonetheless this looks a lot more crisp you know so let's say we want to keep that fine and if we now look at, um, okay, sorry. <laughs> um, okay, so it does that, you know, okay here for the tablet view. However, if I now go to the mobile view, because Squarespace removes the spacers in mobile view, it blows up the uh, image. And I certainly don't want that, you know, I want to keep it small like this, which is why many people and including myself, always used to just use a small size of this image, you know, sometimes like 60 pixels across 80, or in this case, you know, this is 100. So, you know, so this is actually not an ideal solution. Now you could target this in mobile view, but then you have to target, target every little instance of this. And it's just uh, not ideal. So I was trying to think how, how can you resolve this? You know, how can I you know, target my icon and then just use custom CSS to style it. And so what I realized is I can actually create my own classes in Squarespace. And that was a light bulb moment. So here is what I now do instead. I go back into edit mode and I add a markdown block and the code for that. Let me just grab my code. And, you know, so here is my class that I'm creating. And so I'll just add a markdown block. And the nice thing is the markdown block you can actually use on the personal plan as well. The code block requires an upgrade to the business plan. But markdown in many cases kind of looks the same way. So, so here is my new class, which I'm calling Logomark. And I apply that. And, you know, you don't see anything because there's nothing else there yet. So the next thing I do is I go to my custom CSS and here I add now my CSS code. And let me just grab my code. So here is my code for the logo mark. And I'll add that here. Now that still doesn't do anything because you know, it doesn't, um, there is no image yet. There's no image file. So the next thing I do is, and I think I've already, okay, so I upload it using the custom files in the custom CSS section. I uploaded my 1500 pixels um, icon. So that is here. So now here I'm using it as a background image, you know, in my, uh, for my class element here. So I just click on that and voila, here is our logo mark. And now I can just play around with this. So let's say I want to have it a little smaller. So I just go and do this. So now wherever you add this, um, you know, this markdown uh, code, you, um, 
you know, it will be this size. And if we look at it on the tablet view, it keeps it at that size, you know, so this is okay here. And then here, you know, that's nice too. I could make it, for instance, smaller here. And then all I have to do is, you know, use the um, media query. So let's just add that and then just add this text here and actually um, hang on a second so and in this case we can make it smaller so you can see on the right you know you can play around with that let's say you know I can do it 80 and um, so this is just a really nice way of um, making life a lot easier when it comes to um, you know, to adding more crisp looking PNG um, images, you know, I mean, you can see the difference here, you know, this is my 100 pixel image, and it's just really not nice, you know, it's pretty fuzzy. Now, another thing that you can do, um, so I'm here using the uh, Brian template, and my client, you know, she kind of, you know, was reading her about page, and she said, well, not everyone knows that there's actually another section that you have to keep scrolling. And uh, she said, oh, I just saw by, by chance, oh, there is actually more. Can we have like a little arrow there? And I thought, okay, you know, we, we can do that. And same thing, you know, well, not same thing, kind of similar thing. First, I thought, well, I'll just use a, you know, an arrow image, um, but I couldn't really find anything nice. So I just Googled uh, and I found some CSS code that actually creates a downward error like this. And she wanted one that was really simple, kind of similar to the ones that you can use on the um, on the images here. And um, so what I did here is I also created a class for this, which I call arrow down. So very similar to my icon. And then I you know, just have my code here. And um, so here, you know, so here's the code for my arrow down and you can just uh, change the size by changing the padding. And, you know, so you can make it like really big and um, yeah, so this works great. And again, you know, for the mobile screen, I wanted it to be a little bit smaller. So I decreased the padding, you know, you can make it um, bigger here hang on a second now oh, don't you just love that that is not working that was working before i am not sure why that isn't working just now oh okay hang on a second here we go it's this one here um yeah sorry <laughs> Isn't that typical? Anyway, so you can just play around with your CSS here and um, and that's how you, you know, can create these things. I hope this was helpful and I will share the code in my blog post. Thank you.